The fastest way to give a summary of Qu Jian Liang to those unfamiliar is to say that he's a cross between Raymond Daniels and China's answer to Mike Tyson. Despite being little known to Western fans of combat sports, he has been ranked number one in the featherweight kickboxing division by Combat Press for the last several years. He is also, in my opinion, the most destructive fighter in all weight divisions in kickboxing, throwing brutal high-quality offense from all angles. Unlike many kickboxers in China who either started with traditional kung fu before moving on to Sanda, or started with Sanda itself, Jian started with Muay Thai. His Muay Thai influence likely affects his skills with sweeps, which is very effective at using in the clinch or at a longer distance. It would be true to say that sweeps are legal in Sanda and Shui Zhao, the wrestling style that a lot of Sanda competitors train in, however they are more emphasised in Muay Thai, of the moves that don't exist in both styles and can't be attributed to his personality, the bouncing footwork that he uses is more common in Sander and his spinning attacks are also something that he likely trained and perfected in Sander. Due to a combination of skill, timing and power, he is also very adept at kicking one leg away of an opponent who is attacking. Jian's head movement is something that is reminiscent of Tyson himself. Though Tyson used a lot of conventional head movement where the movement starts with the legs and he was very effective at getting low, training under the tutelage of Customato, Tyson would also use a more rare style of head movement where the movement starts at the waist and the fighter slips horizontally. Some people have a mental block when it comes to this slipping style as they are married to the idea that everything in boxing begins with the legs. Joey Hadley is a boxer who also trained in Customato and learned the same unconventional slipping style that is slash was used by Tyson and Gian. For those interested in learning more about this slipping style, I will leave a link in the description to where Hadley goes over a tutorial for the move and a Reddit post where he describes it in more detail. In addition to the horizontal head movement, Jian also uses conventional head movement to weave under punches. The lean back technique is almost an essential technique for a kickboxer at the level of Jian. Due to the power of roundhouse kicks, the risk of a broken arm when blocking a roundhouse kick is great, plus the added risk of taking damage if you block too close to your face. Like other fighters such as Rafael Viziev, Jian makes a case for working on your upper body flexibility to make this move more effective. He leans back at a great angle. Jian's knockout of TIE Fighter Subsequorn underlines the usefulness of developing your flexibility for this move. Subsequorn tried to lean back, which would have been the correct evasion, but he was too close and the flexibility wasn't great, so he got caught. Jian also leans back against punches. The move begins with the same mechanics, transferring your weight to the back leg, but he doesn't lean quite so far back as it is unnecessary and will be counterproductive to immediate counters. Defending against body kicks, a lot of kickboxers tend to use a 12-6 parry. Jian occasionally uses this move, but he more frequently uses a trapping technique, where he blocks with the same side arm and uses the other arm to trap the leg against his body. Trapping the kick will give you more time to follow up with a sweep. The advantage of the 12-6 parry is that it could be used outside range which is impossible with the other trapping technique. The last thing I'm going to go over in this video is Jian's one and only MMA fight with Kenneth Evanson. Jian looked good for the first 30 seconds staying out of range and dropping Evanson. He eventually got taken down and though he looked like he knew what he was doing defending on the ground, he was ultimately heel hooked. The one thing Jian has going for him in comparison to other Chinese Sander talent is that he is also a good striker in the clinch. Generally I think he has a lot of potential in MMA if he improves his ground game.